because you can burn something out, but you can see by the arc welding, it's quite dead. Hey, tubers, welcome back for another adventure. If you guys recall, my last Mega Deal came with two motors. This is the 200E motor, and the motor I showed you before was the 200ES motor. It also came with these two starters, and one of them appears to be seized, and the other one, though it turns, I don't know if you can hear it, it's kind of got a catchy spot. So uh, these starters cost about 75 bucks each used, and you're lucky if you get a good one when you buy them used. So I'm hoping to bring these back to life. So let's start out by testing them. Right, you got your 12 volts here. And I got a little sparking on that end, but nothing else. And this guy is seized. So you really don't want to put juice to it too much. Because you can burn something out, but you can see by the arc welding, it's quite dead. So this is the one that turns, but kind of has that rough spot. My guess is it needs brushes. And I don't have brushes so let's put this one aside for now hopefully I'll be able to get a set of brushes out of Mr. Seized here and uh, get at least one decent starter out of the two of them so I put some oil you know down into the bearing there a few days ago and I'm just hoping that things have loosened up and that does not appear to be true um, you want to be careful with these gears because uh, even even they cost about 30 bucks on eBay anyway let's try to take it apart Sometimes these things like strip out and then you're just in a bad place. Nice. All right, brushes are off. Luckily, uh, or the bolts are out. Luckily, when you uh, when you have the attachment. That means the brushes are on this side of this plate. Sometimes you uh, you pull the tail off and the brushes and wires and the whole bit come right loose with you. Oh, don't smell so good. Looks like my brushes are about shot. Still not turning. Well, maybe we could tap it out of there. I keep checking. I want to make sure that I'm like not talking to myself while I'm showing you nothing. you guys can see I'm using a brass hammer to do this seems to be coming out so I'm thinking rusty so this uh, this thing died of uh, weather well. 
what we're going to do is we're going to clean up this mess, see if we can't put it back together again. Oh no, front bearings. Oops. <laughs> now let's be smart here. Right. Front bearings locked up. Or the front bearings really tight. Now, what should happen is this starter should get a rebuild, new bearings, um, new brushes, the whole shoot and match. But I don't have that and I wanna I wanna see if it's even viable. I don't wanna spend twenty, thirty bucks on brushes for a dead start or so. Anyway, let's clean up and see what we could do. I like to use this Lockies. It's a kind of a liquid graphite. You gotta shake it up to make sure you get the graphite back into suspension. But with that, you know, it's loosened up nicely. Bearing feels good. So we're happy about that. That gets us part way there. Now, a little emery cloth to this get this cleaned up get the brushes cleaned up and uh, hopefully clean up in here hopefully we can put it together and get it to work so I think you guys could see I've cleaned those up right just use a little of the emery and I clean this up. I'm going to uh, use a uh, tacky rag to get all the extra dust out of there. There appears to be plenty of brushes left here but this guy this guy here isn't moving. Sometimes these things get welded up from um, trying to start them <laughs> um, and, and they don't turn right they, so they just sit there and get cooked so anyway I'm going to spend a couple of moments trying to free that up see what we can do so I don't know how well you can see it but I have the brush pushed out my voice is probably louder and softer for me moving closer to the camera and away from it but if you I'm just gonna carefully scrape yeah you won't be able to see me from what I'm doing very well right here and now It moves, not great, but just kind of bring it back and forth. This guy, that guy moves well. The guy moves as if it's the way it should, right? If you're looking at my thumb. I'm going to work on that guy a little more. And then we'll put it together again. So now they're both moving as they should. Right? If... if they're not moving properly. Um, you don't put any power to the armature and things don't turn around. So there we go. Now it's just a matter of putting it back together again. So, I actually lied. You know, let's give the brush, the, the, um, the armature contact area a little bit of a clean up just so that you can see some copper I wouldn't spend a lot of I wouldn't remove a lot of metal right you can you could uh, do damage you don't need to do so I'm just gonna once again clean that up a little bit wipe the whole thing down and start smashing it back together again okay using the old starter right I can see how the bolt goes right by that thing. This is right here where the uh, lettering is on the back, right? Set up this thing the same way. So now it's just a matter of tightening these down. And uh, should be 
then we'll put some power to it, right? Just tighten these down, put some power to it, and life should be good. Okay, it's all put back together again. And I attach the wire to the lug back here. And if you kind of hang on to it. goes goes round wires get hot <laughs> let's take a look in the other one see if see what's going on with it see if it's an easy fix so I took this second one apart and you can see <laughs> it is quite nasty so let's clean it up maybe uh maybe we'll be two for two brushes look like they're in good shape and they're even moving so Let's do a cleanup. Maybe we'll bring them both back. So on closer inspection, these brushes look about new. And if you attempt to turn it, right, I don't know if you guys can see in there, when you push the armature all the way in, it kind of hangs up a little bit. It appears as if I have a defect. So I'm gonna pop these brushes out and see if there isn't something wrong down like right in there right I think it's grabbing the um, where the brushes slide along as you come up on the armature I think it's kind of hanging up there so anyway we'll attempt to clean that up and see if we can fix it so you see if you look at this area here where the brush is sticking out you got no metal then if you look at this area there and there where the metal is sticking out it looks like it's too far so I'm just gonna grind that down a little bit we'll smash it back together again be great to fix this one too you guys could see how it's been kind of rubbing on the where the um, brush area kind of steps up a little bit so let's see if we can clean that up and make life better. Okay, so on further inspection, it looks like somebody over torqued the positive terminal and snapped the leads right off the coils. Well, hopefully we can kind of fix that. I don't know. Might be easier said than done. So just quickly, from a functionality point of view, this lug is where the positive comes into the starter and the case the starter is at ground, right? You have a grommet around it, an insulating grommet. You got some fiberglass stuff up on top and a, a rubber grommet that goes through. So, and if you guys look in here, what I had to do was this bridge that goes across and hooks onto the metal was broken so I wrapped wire around the bolt that goes through and uh, tightened it around where it goes into the grommet then wrapped around these things and you guys could see I put solder on it it's a little easier to see if I come through this way and let me Right, you could see the feed through and the wire wrapped around its neck, so to speak, and how it's soldered on to the bridge going across. So, hopefully, this gives me halfway decent mechanical as well as conductive to that feed through, and I don't have a short to the body. Right. Trying to get a little too much. There you go. So hopefully you guys could see all that. Right? Not the prettiest thing in sight, but if we fixed it, we fixed it, right? So I'm going to uh, smash this whole thing back together again. The brushes uh, back in it. And we'll see. Maybe. Maybe I'll have two 
functioning starters. Once again, from eBay, these things are 75 bucks each. So a pair of them is 150 bucks. I'll take 150 bucks. Okay, let's see how she does. Seems to spin up better than the other one. Well, such is life, eh? Anyhow, I think I fixed a pair of starters, at least one of the two. This one seems to work better than the other one. But I'll, I'll take that. Um, I made a video of everything I got with that $300 mega deal, right? First, um, I mean, we took a quick look at the all-terrain vehicles, the motor, and then the rest of the stuff. I, if you guys want me to, I can put that video up just to uh, show you what else, all else uh, showed up in that deal. I was, um, well, I'll put the video up and let you guys look. I think you guys will think it was, uh, it was a good deal as much as I did, especially now that these two starters work, right? Um, it would cost me 150 bucks to get the pair of them. And even if the first one I did isn't great, a lot of times they say it works, right? They put a battery to it just like I did. And if the thing whirls about, they go, oh, look, it works. You know, what are you complaining about? So there we are. Anyway, I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Please remember to keep your feet down, your heads up. And get out there and rebuild a starter today. Weather isn't great, so you might as well get some basement work done. Take care now. Bye.